Yo, what's up guys, the Double Danger, and in today's video, this is how you turn your Xbox One into a dev kit. Yes, a dev kit. If you don't know what that is, that basically what it is, it basically like lets you like go into sandbox mode on your Xbox. Now, it isn't really anything too special, but it's really, really cool and not like when I say not a lot, not a lot of people know about this. So, uh, what you need to do for this, you obviously need an Xbox One. And go over here. Go over to your settings. Go to all settings. Then once you're here, you want to go to the system tab right here. Go to console info and updates. And then my, um... Bumpers and triggers are really noisy, so you might hear them. But you have to do LB, RB, LT, RT. Repeat LB, RB, LT, RT. And once you do that, you get that. That's developer settings. Now you want to click A from here. And then what you do from here is you see the you don't click developer mode right you go to sandbox id so you go ahead and click on that as again my buttons are really clicky so if you hear them during the video that's why need x d s k period or dot whatever you want to call it one now hit enter and then this should restart your Xbox. Now don't freak out. This is perfectly normal. You just have to go with the flow for this one. Alright, now that my Xbox has restarted, it's going to boot up like the normal Xbox One. It's going to have the same loading screen and everything. But, look what happens when I go into it. Just wait for it. Still loading. I don't want to cut this part out because I don't want it to like look like I'm faking or anything. I will cut the other part out because my Xbox did have to restart, so my recording did like have to cut out. But watch. Normally that would be blue for me because my avatar color is blue on my Xbox. But watch what it does. It can't sign me in. See? Now, I'll go over to here, I'll go over to my name, I'll try to sign into it, but it's going to give me a tab, and it's going to say, right about now, okay, it's going to say, either the account or title can't use the sandbox, change the sandbox settings, in console developer settings or use a different account this lets you know that you're in the sandbox mode on your xbox one so basically what this is you can basically do all this stuff but you cannot like get into like your parties your friends or anything all that is like straight blocked off see that and then you go over here, you can't do anything here, you can't do anything here. This is straight sandbox mode. Now, you really like can't do anything in this mode, it kind of sucks, but it's a really cool thing you can do with your Xbox One. Now, if you want to change it back, uh, well, the sad thing is you can't change it back. You're stuck like this forever. No, I'm just messing with it. Um, in order to change it back, you need to go back to all settings. And then once you go back to all settings, go under the system tab, go to console info and updates. As again, LB, RB, LT, RT. Like this. You click developer settings. Now you see your sandbox ID is still in here. And it says right there, 
I didn't know if you saw this at the beginning of the video, but if you see certificate type up like above the keyboard, that usually says I like, just retail whatever. This says retail dev kit. So you know you're in a sandbox, you're in a dev kit, everything like that. Now in order to change your Xbox One back to its normal state, you have to type in all caps, retail. I spelled that wrong. Oh well. Right there. With no spaces. Remember, don't put that space. It says restart your Xbox. And then you're going to hit yes. I'm now going to cut this part out because obviously my recording's going to cut out. And I will show you when I get back. Alright, so now I'm back on my Xbox. And, um, as again, I'm not going to cut this part, so I don't want to like make you look like I faked it or anything. And it's just going to load up normally. And I do want to say the developer mode, that one tab I told you not to click on, that, in order to, like, um, developer mode, basically what it is, it lets you make games and apps on your Xbox One. I think I might have said that for the dev kit, I don't know. That's not what the dev kit is, though. Sorry if I said it, it was, but, um, dev kit is just basically sandbox mode and whatnot it's just like a little cool feature now if i let me turn my controller on first okay my console just restarted if i went all the way back to my settings went back to all settings and then once i got here you would go back to your system console and phone updates you do the same exact thing. Once you do that, see it says this. And I don't know why that still says retail dev kit. That's kind of puzzling to me. But uh, anyways, I didn't say it before. Because I, I actually tried this out before I actually like made the video to make sure everything ran smoothly. And it did. But anyways, you see developer mode. If I wish to continue that, it wouldn't let me. See? Make sure you're connected to the internet, it's still a problem, that stuff. Now it said we can't authorize your console. In order to authorize your console to get to developer mode, you have to like contact Microsoft, you have to like set your console up and you have to do all that stuff. Now I'm not about to do all that stuff, so yeah. But I hope you guys did find this I guess you can call it a little easter egg cool, and if you want me to make more videos like this, go ahead. I'm going to stick to gaming, but if you want me to make like more easter egg and console and just stuff like that, uh, let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. So